practicing patience and divine self-care when you're going through a painful experience, working through an emotion or something physical and letting go of that. Oh my gosh, this is one of the most challenging places because we want to run from it. We want to go forward. We want it to end. We don't want to go through the discomfort. So I'm Colleen Winia. I'm Reset Your Vibe vision coach and spiritual intuitive and I really I help people transform let go of pain that's being held in the body and in their hearts so that you can get out of your way and really tap into your truest potential which is ultimately your soul purpose otherwise known as your dharma and I just had the most beautiful experience and I can say that only now but all day I was working with an experience where I was really starting to feel like grief well up in my lungs and it wasn't like anything that I did or didn't do it was like it started off this morning and I'd had a great day yesterday and I felt really at peace and then this feeling and stuff comes up you know what I'm talking about guys so I'm gonna give you a tip here on something that you need to do just even one thing here there's many things but one thing that you need to do so where am I first off <clears throat> I'm on a uh, top of peak one Squamish chief in Squamish British Columbia and I just witnessed something that moved my changed my energy along with everything else that I've been doing uh, all afternoon to shift my energies to watch the flow of ebb and flow to drive up here and also this welling of experience of this dark trauma like a knife in my chest I know it sounds kind of awful but my bell belly my gut like the grief there's a grief that I was experiencing within my body now my mind could link it to a beloved loved one that I was really she I thought about her twice her name is Diane and it happened to be earlier today and then I started sobbing and weeping and then it happened to me on the way up I was listening to Eckhart Tolle and he talks about the pain body which is a part of my teaching. Okay, guys. So why am I bringing this up? Because it was like, I did everything I could to like work with this pain body. I didn't want to feel it. It felt awful. So I just started to feel better and say, okay, I work through it. Then I'm driving up to Squamish here to go on this beautiful hike, you know, gorgeous outdoors, la la la. And whoop, up comes that feeling again. You know, do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. So <laughs> When you have a business, when you have a family, when you have like your goals, your dreams, you know, your everyday stuff, if you have pain in your body, man, everything just stops, right? Like, like doesn't stop, but it feels like it stops. So what just happened to me just even recently now is I got another witness of moving through my feelings and I got to the top of the chief and let's talk about divine timing, right? So, okay, let me back up here a minute here, but I'm going to tell you about some hang gliders that I saw, but I'm going to tell you, here's the thing you need to do. One of the fastest ways to work through your pain body, but however that presents itself to you is by coming into the present moment. And something I realized and remembered by listening to Eckhart Tolle, uh, speaking on his book with Oprah about the new earth. I mean, it's an old book now. I mean, it's been around, but it's a real book. What he identified, which made me remember, remember we're not um, discovering, we're here to awaken ourselves. This is what I do. I help people awaken themselves. So as I was listening to his teaching and his share and there's conversation and I'm feeling the welling up in my, my gut, my chest, so, oh God, this is so awful. I'm going to the mountain. I'm like, okay, I want to clear it. And even as I started the hike, I was feeling it. But what he said was, see if I can remember how this works. He says, people like I'm relating to myself maybe you relate but people like me who have a heavy pain body and uh, which makes me you know this is part of my sole purpose I used to shove it down not wanting to experience it wanted to feel better and then I embraced it and realized part of my journey is helping you guys work through the hidden blocks so that you can thrive and feel freedom in your heart feel freedom you know in your bank account you become this magnet and you attract like vibrant health love money and magic like this is what I'm really good at so I'm claiming it however I still want to run from it and he said one of the best things um, especially people with a heavy pain body is coming right into the present moment and exercise strenuous exercise and particularly technical sports are really really uh, important or seem to be what people with heavy pain body might be attracted to 
if you're not, you would want to. So this is something that I love. I love to hike and it makes me eventually feel better. And I have to come into the present moment, especially if I was to rock climb. So what do I just get reminded of up here? There's some videos I did earlier. Hang gliders. I'm sorry, <laughs> paragliding, my brain. Paragliding. I paraglided many years ago in France, in Chamonix. And it was off a beautiful, amazing mountain. It was so great. And I just happened to come up to here at the same time. One of the guys was arriving and then followed by three of his buddies. And three of them have taken off down the hill. One of them didn't feel that wind was the right timing. They were very careful, but it took them so much patience because the first person who arrived up here, he didn't feel it was the right timing for him. And he said he, he waits until he's like 100%, um, like doesn't feel, you know, he feels, uh, safe. He feels like it's like, you know, he's not risking himself. He got off. Yay. Cool. Oh, we got some lift time too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Woohoo! This gentleman was the most patient. He arrived at the top first and he's the third one down. So cool. And he got more lift time. Boy, his patience paid off. Patience paid off is on top of the chief and he's gonna be <laughs> so fantastic this is what I do is I help people tap into their truest potential by first eliminating you know understanding the blocks and behind their hearts and in beside like the ancient beliefs that you've been carrying in your body and then I work with techniques that help you come into the present moment but find the ones that are right for you and you know and i help you intuit and listen to the signs the signs from your spiritual cheerleaders you know your loved ones who've passed over maybe talking to you those signs and signals that are coming at you every day when you're working with your clients and you're working with you know your um, expertise what you bring to the world helping you tap into your body so that you can move your body fuel your body and there's this whole blend of things where i call it my five point star approach five point star and it's everything boiled into five points right so you've got express emotional well being <laughs> express freedom right move move your body move 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 energetically breath work you name it we got to move the energy and we got to feel it right so it's two together and then thirdly is where you're priming your body with good nutrition and organic supplementation, all that kind of great stuff. And you're fueling your mind. Then you've got the fourth part, point on the star, which is a line. And this is the places where you tap into self source and others, but it's through your connection with the divine and with yourself and in through your body. And lastly, monetize your creativity. So if some of these areas are like you're challenged by them on a scale of um, vibrational scale of one to 10, where 10 is feeling like amazing, you feel like really strong in that department, maybe you're an eight, maybe you're a nine, but you wanna raise it. Or maybe one of those other areas really need your time and attention and you're feeling more like a three or a five, then that's like a monitor to know where you need to go next. So I am Colleen Whittier and I help people raise their vibration. I help people tap into their greatness through eliminating the pain factors and the hidden stuff. Even if you don't feel pain, usually where we're feeling fatigue or lethargy or we feel kind of like confused or unclear, it's all kind of relates back to this sort of pain, which is referenced through fear and love. You're either in fear, acting from fear, which isn't really real, but or you're acting from love, right? So I, can, I cover all this in my work with you guys one-to-one, -one, but I more importantly, what's um, where, or so what's the word, um, results are happening really beautifully as well is through my Crystallize Your Vision, Energize Your Pathway to Clarity, Confidence, and Creativity, where I bring you through this beautiful program I put together this past year, and it helps you tap into your intuitive brilliance and your emotional wisdom, right? So you can see the signs coming at you each and every day. So I love you guys very much. If you're seeing this video for the first time, share it, share it with someone you know, if you, if they're like, you know, they're going through a hard time or you know that they're active, but they need, you know, need to clear the pain body, then let's, uh, let's talk with them. Send me a message here. I love to help you out. And here's a little visual of where I am. Isn't it gorgeous? Love you guys. Ah.